to a new way even a day and welcome to my kitchen where everything happens i'm trying to find a really good light in here but it's really hard because the clouds getting i mean the sun gets in and out of the clouds and it keeps getting really dark and it keeps getting really bright and this is really a struggle you know <laughs> <laughs> on a Monday morning joking but yeah welcome to a new way to eat in a day it's been a while I haven't done one of those today I want to thank LifeSum for partnering with me on this video which is a nutrition tracking app if you haven't seen the latest video that I've posted on my channel I talked about kind of my health problems that I went through during 2019 and I basically told you about my weight gain I told you about the fact that I lost my natural appetite cues and I stopped intuitive eating for that matter anyways like I really encourage you to check out that video if you want to know more of why I started tracking what I eat so I'm so excited for this partnership because I started using LifeSum before this collaboration so it's just really nice because I get to talk to you about an app that I really really am using and I find really cool I also told you about this in my latest video but I am doing a cure of vitamin and so each morning I've been starting the day with one two three pills this is the brand that I've been using it's definitely not sponsored but it's just work this is a probiotic this is for my liver problems and this is for my skin I just have that with water that's the first thing I have in the morning is it really a surprise if I tell you that I have oatmeal in the morning? I think not. I have bananas. I need to be eaten, I think. So I'm gonna have one in there, mashed. So using a banana is really good because it helps to sweeten the oatmeal without adding sugar. Blueberries, approximately 70 grams. It's about half a cup, a cup, blueberries. This gets really beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Adding frozen blueberries really helps to cool down the preparation so that it's like really good temperature for the tummy to eat. It's not good to eat frozen food and it's not good to eat hot food. So this is kind of the perfect temperature. Soy yogurt, tablespoon, 10 grams. Mix that again together. Look at that. This is where things have been changing for me. I add just a couple of graines de courge, pepitas. This is really, really interesting. This is um, pumpkin seeds flour, and it's really rich in protein. Um, so I just add like a tablespoon of it. Just adding that. Oops. Tahini teaspoon. Not too much. Et bien voilà. I'm ready to have my breakfast. Now let's just see what LifeSum says about this breakfast. I'm gonna add breakfast. Now I could do one by one everything, but because it's a meal that I know works really well and is really balanced, I have saved it to my favorite and this is a premium feature. But basically I just go to meals and it's called the perfect oatmeal. This is not the calories it has. <laughs> The perfect oatmeal, one serving, has everything that I've just put to my oatmeal. Track, and if I come back, okay, done. There it is, 430 calories. I'm actually going to add some chia seeds. That's not in my recipe. I have added some today. Five, not even four grams. That's it. Total breakfast, perfect. Healthy level protein, healthy level carbs, healthy level fat, rich in fiber, calories in track. Everything's in track. Honestly, I was very surprised when I started using this app and I was inputting my normal breakfast. I thought that was really healthy, but I realized how unbalanced it was and it didn't have enough protein and the fats were way too high. And so I'm really happy because I play kind of with the app and see like what breakfast would taste good and be very well balanced. And this is it. This is the perfect oatmeal. So yeah, I really encourage you to download this app and just check if your current breakfast is like balanced. Lunch 
time. I kind of want to try a new recipe today and see if that works out. I have something in my mind, but I don't know if it's going to work. But if it does, I think it's going to be a good recipe. I want to do the idea of an omelette, but obviously vegan. I'm going to use a potato, a carrot, some broccoli, some cauliflower, and then I make the dough with chickpea flour, rice flour, soy milk, something like that, and dough. So that's the plan. Now let's do it. <laughs> My eyes. Expectations versus reality. Oh well, <laughs> it's definitely not what I wanted. But yeah, this is my lunch. So basically all I did was editing videos on my computer. It's pretty gloomy outside, it's pretty cold, it's pretty moody. Just doing a little break out of the computer. I am going to make myself some chai latte with soy milk, very simple recipes that I have, my ebook. And after that, I think I'll just work a little bit more on my computer and then I will work out. And then, what do I have planned? Yes, I need to think about a new class for the week. Uh, you'll get class. For dinner, I decided to make a recipe out of the remaining things that I had in my fridge, which were vegetables and some red rice that I had cooked a few days ago. So I start to chop my shallots, my mushrooms, everything that needs to be chopped, and I start to heat that up in a pan using no oil because I don't find that it's really useful. I use a little bit of curry spice, mix that well, and when it started to cook, I add the zucchini, again, mix that well, and then once it's reduced a little bit, I add my cooked rice, not too long, this is really the last step of the recipe. I add a full can of coconut milk and that makes it really creamy it's like a little risotto but obviously very short in time and I finish with the greens broccoli because greens really don't need to be cooked for a lot of time as I mentioned this recipe makes two serves so what I did is I split it in half and on the app, I entered my new recipe for two serves. What I really like is this little feature. You can scan pretty much anything. It finds everything. It's incredible. And then I added the remaining ingredients. And I also decided to top it with some nutritional yeast. Dinner is served. So, it smells amazing. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna check with you. So the app basically says I've eaten a bit too much fat and that's just basically because of the coconut. I'm gonna put that down before it gets on my sofa. It's just because of the coconut uh, milk that I put a lot off. Um, I don't eat coconut milk every day, so that's totally fine. Overall, I think the day is pretty balanced. And for now, I just think that this will fill me up and I won't be hungry after if I really feel the need. Um, to eat, I will eat. I will not like let this app um, dictate my eating, but it's a really good way for me to kind of realize what I've been eating. And I like that the focus is not just on calories and it gives you a lot of tips on how to make your meals more balanced. It gives you recipes and stuff. If you go premium, you have like a lot more choice. And also it's great because it tracks the activities that I have on my Apple Watch. So. Yeah, it kind of puts it into the calories that I kind of need for my day, which is great. Obviously, like, I am really fine using that kind of app and I'm like, I've never had an eating disorder. I just want to say, and I probably should have said that at the start of this video, 
but I just want to say that I don't think it's healthy to track what you're eating if you have trouble with food if you have some sort of eating disorder as i told you in the previous video i'm trying to lose weight and i'm also trying to regain my natural appetite because i lost a sense of what each food is bringing me because of hormonal issues and so for me it's really helpful i think it teaches my body again what's the value of each food and it teaches me a lot about how my meals are actually balanced or not but yeah i know that i'm able to take some step backs from it. All I wanted to say, I really don't want to promote something that would make your health in danger. Otherwise, like if you're fine with eating and you just have a, like a little goal or you just want to eat healthier, I think this is a really, really good way to do it. It's very easy to use, um, doesn't take a lot of time. It's really nicely integrated. But yeah, this is my day of eating. I hope you enjoyed and I will leave all the recipes in the description box below. I can't wait to eat this and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!